let me talk to you about um, uh, P. Diddy. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, you watch rap and you listen to any contemporary music. I don't care if it's white or black, and it is. It's it's you know when my you know I was growing up and my parents were like you're not listening to Afternoon Delight please um, but uh, now you listen to stuff and I I swear to you twenty percent of uh, of the songs are something about something going into somebody's butt it seems it has been so dark for so long and now you read about P Diddy and what the hell is that guy's life? all about well i mean he has been seduced by money and fame and attention and just greed and the music industry has a long history of just flat out demonic energy and we've never seen anything like what's going on in rap music and what has been going on in rap music rap music is lyrical pornography and we've yes. mainstreamed. We we've mainstreamed all of these guys, and and not that physical pornography is any better. But I just don't remember Hugh Hefner and Larry Flint uh, being invited to the White House, the Oval Office. I don't remember. Hey, let's make them the halftime performers of the Super Bowl. This this mainstreaming, normalizing, and treating rappers with such respect when they're just lyrical pornographers that promote a level of nihilism that uh, we just, that's just unprecedented in any other art form. And, and I, again, people, well, what about rap music and Ozzy Osbourne or this person or that person, Marilyn Manson or what? Nothing is on the level. And I'm not saying those other genres aren't bad because all music has turned very nihilistic. But it's but not what? mainstream like rap is. Rap yeah, is yeah. everywhere. It's it. Look, they've made it. They've melded it into sports. And so, what's what's the strongest force on television? It's live sporting events, and that's yeah. why they've baked this music into live sporting events. And and we wonder why our young people are so depraved and so uh, yes. just violent and yeah. have no control of their emotions, no control of their sexuality. Uh, just sexually fluid and sexually promiscuous, the, the music promotes it. And music influences people in a way that other art forms just don't. Uh, you remember every lyric of your favorite song. You never remember every word of a movie you saw yep. or even a TV show you saw. Music is a very powerful form of communication that touches your soul in a way that other art forms don't. And so I, I'm just, I'm not shocked. Diddy and his depraved behavior from the video beating up the woman to the accusations of sex trafficking, it, it, you know, it goes right along with rap music. It's peanut butter and jelly. I, I have to tell you, I, um, there's only, I just read this this morning. I think there's, I can't remember what it was called, but there's 4% of the population that has this disorder. And music does not move them. That means 96% of human beings on earth, it, it moves them spiritually and it moves them internally. Um, music has tremendous power to it that, uh, that I think we're seeing the results of now. So you know what comes to mind uh, when I'm reading the stuff about uh, P. Diddy is <clears throat> um, Epstein. And I absolutely am convinced Epstein was an agent of our government or a government. And it's why he, he got away with so much. I think he was an agent for our government. P. Diddy had cameras in every room. Everybody came over uh, and doing all kinds of stuff. He has dirt on everybody. Do you think he was an, an agent? Yes. I, I think a CIA agent. Would, would be my guess, and I think that a lot of uh, the people in the rap music industry are. And, and, and I'll say this as someone... Wait, 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 who, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You think a lot are? Yes, because, Glenn, look at... I mean, again, there's no reason for you to know all these details. Rap probably hasn't been your thing, but it has been <laughs> mine ever Never. since I was a kid. Huh. And so I've, I've followed the rap music industry. 
right now there's so little talent, actual talent, that, that in rap music, and 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 so it doesn't require some level of skill, and so these people are clearly selected. A, a sexy red or Cardi B, or, or a bunch of these very popular rappers. Now, they have no talent. So how do they <laughs> get picked? How, how does everybody you. fit the profile of someone who, if they weren't a rapper, there's nothing else on the planet that they're capable of really doing other than being a rap music celebrity? And, and so, yeah, I think all of these people are picked, they're groomed, and and then they're giving talk. The the music industry gives them uh, rapping points or talking points or things they have to support and believe in what the music has to be. I, I think again the people that want uh, to bring down America and the freedoms that we have taken for granted here in America, they're using this particular art form or music form to help accomplish those goals. And that's why I mean, it's run by a very, very criminal element, not just the artists, but the people in charge of the record labels. Uh, it's a band of criminals. And, and, it's, and I think the government has dirt on all of them. We've, Kanye West has said, has said in an interview, hey, look, they can't pressure me the way they pressure some of these other artists because I've never committed murder. He, he said that, and he said it as a way of saying they have dirt on these other artists so they can control them. They don't have that kind of dirt on me. That's why I'm harder to control. Mm. Uh, I will tell you, I just talked to somebody who uh, works in Hollywood and is a good guy and is just disgusted and just is just dying to leave. But he's in a position to where he sees it all. And uh, we were talking, and I couldn't believe, he because he said it just dead straight. He said, Glenn, you know, you read about the sex things and you're seeing these documentaries on. He said, you have no idea. It is full out, almost devil worship. He said, it is so dark in Hollywood and the things that go on if people knew that these documentaries are just scratching the surface of what really happens that's terrifying just terrifying Jason Whitlock is who we're talking to he's a longtime sports writer a TV personality from ESPN if you ever watch ESPN you know who he is he I mean he's the guy who started the undefeated uh, for ESPN and uh, steered Fox Sports one studio show speak for yourself um, but he's also, and I just have to point this out because I find it amazing with people with different opinions actually winning things. Uh, he, while he was at the Kansas City Star, um, he won the Scripps Howard National Journalism Award for commentary in 2007, which is a really big deal. He is the only sports writer to ever win that award. Quite an accomplishment. Um, uh, Jason, we only have a few minutes. I, uh, if, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Just want a quick answer from you because I want to get into something a little deeper. Um, last question on um, P. Diddy. You know, the videotape is out. Uh, he was taping people in his house. Is he done? Will, is he Louis C.K. at least for a little while? Yeah, I think he's Russell Simmons. He was uh, Russell Simmons, another rap mogul. Uh, who got me to and I think now lives in Bali and basically had to leave the country for peace. And I think that's where Diddy's going to end up if okay. there are no criminal charges. I think he just ends up moving out of the country and existing from afar.